In this particular video, same project, but I've switched files. I've switched to this floor plan, and this is a floor plan for an apartment. And I'm going to go through some of the tools we use here and show you how they're used. The very first tool I'm going to show you is the count tool. But remember, every measurement starts with setting the scale on the measurement. The scale on this particular uh, drawing is one eighth of an inch equals a foot. I'll go and click my scale. And the default is actually one eighth of an inch equals a foot. So we got lucky there. So I'll click, go ahead and click set. My scale is now set on this measurement, as you can see by that icon right there on that page. I am holding the right mouse click on my mouse so I can drag and I don't need to use the pan tool. This saves me a lot of time. I'm going to go ahead and use the count tool and I'm going to count up all the double vanity sinks on one side of this floor. So I'll click the count tool here. And I'll click one, two, right mouse click, hold, drag it over. Look around. Do I see a double vanity anywhere? Ah, I see more double vanities here. One, keep continuing. I can zoom out a little bit. Just check around. Make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I didn't. I'm using the right mouse, holding down the right mouse click to drag that page around. Right mouse click, drag it around. Click on my double vanities, okay? And you see over here on the right-hand side where I have my measurements, 12 inches each. Fantastic. All right, so now if I wanted to change the color because I'm zooming out here and doesn't look really, I can't see it, it's not that visible to me, I can go here and make it like that red or a different color that just really stands out on the drawing. Maybe I'll make it this fuchsia or something to that effect. Now I can see that, right? Now, I'll right mouse click, rename. I'm gonna call this EBLVNTY, double vanity, okay? If I go to my project measurements, you can see all the measurements that I had taken in the previous videos show up here. My double vanities also show up. They're on a different sheet, but all my measurements for that project shows up here. I click on the location. I go back to the sheet where I was working. Okay, so now I'm gonna go click on the count tool again. Maybe this time I changed its color from the very beginning. Now make it this blue. This time around, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna do the single vanities. All right. It went to brown, but don't worry about it. We can change that later. I'm going to hold my right mouse click. Every single vanity that I see, I'm going to click on it. Again, to drag this and pan, I'm just basically holding down on my right mouse click. As long as I can hold it down, I can pan. I don't need to constantly go back to the toolbar and use the pan tool. This saves me considerable amounts of time. And I'm sure you would agree when you're estimating, you want to save as much time as possible and get things within accuracy. Okay, so I put all of those there. The brown dots don't show up really well. I'm gonna go ahead and change it. By clicking on that, I'm going to make it maybe this green, right? So there they are. And you can see the count of 10 inch. I'm gonna go rename it and call it SNGL. V-N-T-Y, single vanity. Enter, go to my project measurements. You can see the single vanities. And as I'm getting more measurements, you see I've got the scroll bar over here and I can zoom, uh, scroll up and down to see all my measurements for that particular project. Click on this link. It brings me back to the measurements where I was. Okay, fantastic. See you in the next video.